Hello, my name is Tyler. My name is Josh. We are 21 Pilots, and you're watching Pit Cam TV. How are you this morning? We're doing good, huh? Yeah, doing well. We're in, we're in Germany. Yeah, we're sitting close to each other on a couch, so it feels pretty <laughs> yeah, good. Yeah, it feels right. Yeah. I think you guys um, are the earliest interview I've ever done, and I, I, we're not even the first people, so I was like, oh my god, what, they did an interview before us as well? Yeah, we... Uh, it's we love getting up early in the morning and have you to guys did that on purpose right you're just like yeah we're gonna make all the press come super early just yeah, to no. piss them off we're pretty uh we're pretty tired but i think that i think it's good to to force yourself to to get up so. get stuff done <laughs> yeah, yeah i think the only time i usually get up is uh when we are traveling international and, yeah. and my sleep is all messed up but mm -hmm. what i will say about that is that i i i think that i I like the morning a lot. It's like one of my favorite times of the day, but I never experience never it. Never see always, it. Yeah, you'd always hear about it. And you're just like, that sounded great. Yeah. But, That's true. Uh, I guess you feel like you, you're able to do more and there's just more light during the day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so have you guys been to Berlin before? We've been to Berlin a couple times, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, we have. Uh, it's, a, it's a really cool city. Um, gotten to well, I think we may have had like a day off here once too and and and, uh, and played um, but it's uh yeah it's good to be back and um, and it kind of coming back again is always it's experiencing a place for the first time is is one feeling but then coming back again is another feeling where it's like they're both kind of exciting in their own way where it's like you come back and you feel it, it's a familiar place and there's something heartwarming about that <laughs> yeah I was gonna ask do you guys have a favorite thing when you come here like is it just like oh we're going to Germany or Berlin and you say we definitely want to get that or do that donor um, kebabs. we love donor here yeah the kebabs are fun we like that yeah. um, we also like well, I, this is one of the cities that that I've been fortunate enough to just walk around and get to experience so I think that it's a very uh, it's very different from where we're from um, well, everything's older, you know, and that's, I think that's cool because everything in the States is new and yeah. it's pretty much semi-uninteresting. Yeah. Do you know any German? <laughs> uh, no, my, my, uh, my, uh, my in-laws are, like, specifically my mother-in-law is, uh, her family is very German and they're very prideful and, like, mm. they watch soccer and they, oh, yeah. it's, an, it's not soccer, it's football. football. Yeah. Football. Yeah. Don't have and that conversation. So <laughs> yeah. I can imagine her saying some things in German, um, but I would be, I'm not confident enough to, to repeat it, so. <laughs> the good thing is our, when we come over here uh, with our crew, our, our production manager uh, lived here for a little while. And he's our, he's, well, he's our good friend first, and we've known him for a while, but he, uh, he's actually, like, decently fluent in German, so he'll just, anywhere we go, he'll be able to kind of talk to anybody and help us out, which is good. Yeah. It's always good to have somebody there that can help translate and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but people, you know, over here are really good about it. They'll, you know, if we go to, like, I don't know, a fast food restaurant or something, yeah. and we go in and they start talking to us in German, and we kind of look at them and we, we give them that like American look, and they kind of go, oh, I get it, you're American, <laughs> and but they're always really good and helpful actually, you know, because I feel like, I feel like I don't know I don't know why exactly, but the the I guess there's kind of this like a little bit of a stereotype of Germans being mean, but I've not seen that for if anything. Um, the the German culture has been like one of the most helpful cultures when it comes to helping us even that's true. order something off of a menu as simple as that. So that's my opinion of it. I'm glad we've been nice to you. <laughs> so coming to the album Blurry Face, um, can you just uh, tell us a little bit about the writing process? We uh, we wrote the record pretty much the entire record on the road. So while we were while we were traveling and we were touring vessel, we wrote um, Blurry Face. So, um, I guess that was a pretty long, you know, period of time. You know, people ask how long did it take to record, write the record. Yeah. Well, we were on the road for almost three years for Vessel, and so I guess you could say that all three of those years we were writing new songs yeah. the whole time. So, um, I guess it took a while in that regard, but it was never, it was never a focus. You know, yeah, I was going to say, did you ever put a time limit saying, okay, we need to slowly start finishing or? 
maybe towards the end we knew we towards the end of uh, uh touring vessel we knew we wanted to get into the studio so we made sure that things were ready to go into the studio but other than that um there was never a specific time we dedicated to um just writing so it was happening very naturally we were very inspired by um live shows that we were traveling and playing every night so i think that I think that that definitely influenced the record. I know that um, a lot of fans can relate to a lot of the lyrics that you guys write. I mean, I know when I hear stress out, I'm just like, I feel exactly like that. <laughs> do you guys, or how much um, do you let the lyrics influence to your personal life? I mean, do you take the events that happen from your personal life and use them into your music? I think, uh, I think the blurry face is more of a snapshot of who we are as, as individuals. Vessel's kind of this peer into someone's journal, but um, Blurry Face, even still having the journal vibe, um, was a little more transparent about, you know, like family and, and love and things like that. And I think um, it's a good way of remembering this moment in time. Like I said, Blurry Face is a, a snapshot of, in a lot of ways, you know, because like, for example, Stressed Out, you brought up the music video for that is, you know, our families are in it, you know, so our, our whole family, um, they love doing that, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they, they thought yeah. it was great. Yeah. I think it's, it's, uh, sometimes hard for us to realize that, uh, at least, well, I guess I speak for my family. They'd never really, especially my dad, he's like never been in front of a camera or, or, <laughs> yeah. uh, in, in a music, he doesn't know how that yeah. whole thing works. So he, he, uh, and he didn't even tell me this, but like my mom told me, she's like, he's super nervous. Are you, you know, are you like, yeah. actually, he, in retrospect, he was like real nervous about it. And, uh, and it's funny because to us, it's just like, okay, all right, let's, let's kind of do this. And, and, uh, he just had no idea what to expect or what it would look like or what it yeah. would, what he was supposed to do. Um, so it was, yeah, I mean, it was really fun for us to just like kind of have our, it's fun to watch the dynamic of, uh, both families interacting too, and, and, and especially in an environment like that, so. It was like a bring your family to work day. Yeah, yeah. And it was fun. And have them participate. Yeah, have mm. them work for you. Yeah. <laughs> for free. <laughs> yeah, for free, yep. We got them lunch. Oh, yeah. That's it, though. I saw you guys uh, also did uh, that handshake shortly. Uh, did you guys plan that, or, I mean, did you have to plan it a long time, or was it already something that you guys done before early on you said okay let's put that into the to the video we made that up on the spot <laughs> yeah. i don't even know why we think uh, so well yeah, like we were just so on the same wavelength that yeah. we, no what's the story how long ago before then and could you also do it as well i mean I after could, after the story yeah. figure it out again i guess yes yeah, so we were it, do you know how kinda, long it was uh yeah i think it was probably it was pretty early on like when we were a band but we've been friends longer so we were a friends for like a, a year before we started playing music together and then we played music together and there was a there was a day that we were in Nashville I uh, can't even remember why but we were uh, in a hotel room actually with our our business manager slash like second dad and uh, he's trying to sleep and <laughs> yeah. we, we uh, wouldn't let him sleep let's we're, make up handshakes <laughs> at night we just we'll, that's when we'll just come up with the like ridiculous stuff and we just like and then we'll kind of like feed off each other. So we had the idea to like make a handshake or whatever. So we spent like more amount of time than I'd like to say, <laughs> um, uh, kind of coming up with this thing. And then once we did, uh, you know, it's probably uh, 2 a.m. or a bit later, and we wake up our business manager and we're like, hey, watch us do this. Like, yeah. Check it out. And, Brad, wake up. Yeah. This is sick. <laughs> and, and then we did it, and he was just kind of like, okay. And then went back to sleep. Do you guys still do it as well? Like sometimes just out of fun? Um, we're doing it more. We used to, you know, because it, it used to be a secret handshake, but now it's not. So um, we'll do it with like fans and stuff now. But um, I guess we don't do it very often now. Is it too early for the handshake? Or can we see it? <laughs> we can do it probably. Do you want to try to do it sitting down? Yeah, we could probably do it sitting down. Yeah, the sitting down version? Yeah. I don't know if we've ever done that. Right now? Yeah. You didn't even look, did you? I looked, I looked right at the camera the whole time. 
That's how you know the jet lag kicked in. Just and concentrated. I yeah, look so I know. uncool. I know. I'm the lead singer. I have to be cool. Do you guys have a favorite song off the album? Um, favorite song to play or favorite song to listen to? To listen to. Listen to. My favorite song to listen to, I would say probably um, Heavy Dirty Soul. It was the first song on the record. It's my favorite to listen to. And it might even be my favorite to play. No, it's not my favorite to play. What's yours? Uh, to listen to, I'm, I'm on a pretty steady, it'll change. Uh, or a lot of times it'll change, but The Judge is, has kind of been like my favorite since we recorded it. I don't know why. Um, uh, to play actually probably is Heavy Dirty Soul, I think. I think. Mine to play right now is probably Lane Boy. So we like we like playing the new songs. I think it's uh, for most bands, and for even us in the past when when you when you play new songs, it can be frustrating at first to try to get it to work and to feel comfortable. But um, because the songs were written and so influenced by live music, it was like this what the song was meant to be played live and. When we first started rehearsing the songs, it just came so naturally and it felt so good right away. So that's a good feeling. And you guys are um, together quite a lot. I mean, I, I, I guess you have the crew and everything, but it's different to when you have a band. Um, what do you think is the pet peeve for the other one? Like, is uh, there something yeah. that he does that gets on your nerves and is there something that he does that gets on your nerves? Yeah, no, we're, we know exactly what that is. Yeah. Uh, Tyler chews really loud when he eats. I chew loud, and Josh doesn't dry off all the way when he gets out of the shower. <laughs> so, that's it. Yeah. Everything really else it. is honky dory. <laughs> How long have you guys known each other? Uh, I think we six years. Didn't we say that? Yeah. No. Yes. Well, five. Yeah, probably almost six. Five years, I think. With many other years to come. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yes. Years to come. <laughs> So we're coming to our last question. Okay. Um, what is the weirdest thing a fan has ever either said to you or given to you? Um, well, I would never want to call them out in front of everybody because I wouldn't want to make anyone feel uncomfortable or feel like they did something wrong. Cause, maybe not I mean, weird as in bad, but yeah, maybe we're maybe. just like, oh, well, I wasn't expecting uh, that, I guess. Uh, ordinary. <laughs> I mean, I feel like when I see, if I were to ever meet you know, someone that I look up to, I would do embarrassing things too. So I don't blame them at all. Um, um, weirdest thing. I, I think weird stuff happens all the time. It's, it's hard to kind of like, kind of like pinpoint a weirdest thing because I feel like that would be calling them out. Um, something I was thinking about the other day though, and just this is more of a general thing, is that uh, when we kind of started um, traveling around and playing shows, we'd get done and the 15 people in the bar, you know, we'd meet a couple of them and they'd just be like, hey, really enjoyed it very normal conversation, but I think as, as something grows, the, there's like a psychology of it where I, and I was even thinking about when you think of like Elvis or the Beatles or Justin Bieber or whatever, when it becomes this bigger, uh, larger kind of thing where more people are interested, it becomes this psychological thing where you watch a, like a Beatles video of the Beatles or whatever and there's just like thousands of girls like crying it's like what do they causes? do that with you guys too <laughs> well, I, well it's like what causes like that sort of emotional takeover and so uh when you know uh we were in i can't remember a couple other a couple days ago we were in a, a different uh city in a different country and met a couple people and right as we were walking away they, they just started screaming and like we weren't yeah, we met of, them. That's 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 what you're. Yeah, I get that. So you, know you you meet them, and a lot of times, like it's a very normal interaction. Hey, how are you? Good to meet you. Yeah, great. You know, I'm a fan of your music. Oh, thank you very much. You know, like, and everything's good. And they're like, all right, well, we'll see you. And so then we walk away, and then we hear them just start freaking out after the fact. Yeah. Which, Aww. so it's funny because like they held all, everything in and waited as long as they could to to make it seem as normal of an interaction as possible. But you know what? We can hear you screaming after we haven't even wa- yeah. we're in this we're outside we haven't even yeah. walked in a different we talked room. about like if we did that to just like everyday people like you can, you can do that to fans as well yeah. you leave and we're just like ah! <laughs> so but, yeah, i feel very flattered but i will say That's too though it's there is as i you know i've thought about the whole thing is and i've felt that way before i haven't actually screamed uh but i felt like this this sort of very weird almost one-sided thing where 
uh, this person or, or people that I look up to or whatever, um, I see a lot of their presence uh, online, whether it's interviews or uh, maybe a live show or on TV, whoever it is. Um, and then, well, I, I, I was uh, eating lunch maybe a year ago and sat down next to a, a guy, a character from the show Lost, uh, Sawyer from Lost. And, uh, and I felt that way because I was like, he doesn't know who I am at all. Yeah. He has no you idea. Know. You but never I know. I feel like a connection with him because I watched all the seasons of Lost. And so it's like this really weird uh, feeling inside where you feel this connection. And so I, I understand, I think, where some that happens. But um, it's still funny to me when I think when that happens. Yeah, especially because we know we're not that cool at all. Yeah, so exactly. For anyone to think that, they're yeah. sorely mistaken. Don't worry, I'll wait till I'm outside before I do that to you. <laughs> scream? Thanks. Likewise. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you for the interview. I hope you have a nice rest of the day. Not too many other interviews so that yeah. you can sleep a bit. <laughs> yeah, no, thanks for coming. Seriously, I know it's a bit early, but um, we will. Never live. again, just for you guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And never. We'll see you, you know, at 8 o'clock at night. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, my first son, um, imagine when I was... We get more views if you take off. Six, six, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be flexing the whole time. That's what you do. Um, but yeah, okay, I'll take it off. No, my nipples are actually kind of too hairy right now, so I'm going to leave it. But um, imagine was my first one. I was 16, and I went to Little Rock, Arkansas, which is just like, you know, a town way out, of, out in the boonies to get, um, to get it done. 